Namaste, welcome to the talk show. Today we have with us a senior transitive physician and diabetologist, Dr. Kirmai Padadagaru. And today we will uh, find out a few things about the management of diabetes in the elderly population. Uh, welcome, ma'am. So, uh, what are the challenges that we usually face in the treatment or the management of diabetes in elderly? Yeah, uh, basically, uh, diabetes in elderly is a different entity altogether. This is really challenging because the elderly people are mostly dependent on others to give them the medications. They are dependent on others to give them the proper nutrition at the proper time. So if things are not going in track, then most of the times, I mean, the most challenging thing is to avoid hypoglycemia in these patients. Uh, hypoglycemia in elderly is really risky. Sometimes they can just drift into coma if it goes unnoticed. So that is the reason the monitoring and the proper kind of nutrition and regular follow-up in this patients in this group of patients is very important. So it is important for the family also to take utmost care so that these people don't learn into complications. So that is the main thing: the nutrition and the timing of medications and the follow so, then what are the goals, the medication goals or the glycemic goals that we need yeah, to take uh, in the secondary population? Yeah. Basically, in uh, different populations, the glycemic goals or the target goals of the A1C or the fasting and post prandial sugars are different. In the younger population, they are more strict or more stringent about the targets. Like we have to maintain the A1C around 6.5 to 7 or we have to maintain the fasting and post and sugars around 100 and post and around 140. So younger age group, we try to stick to those targets and we try to bring them or adjust their medications accordingly so that they are at target of their uh, glycemic control so that they don't land into complications in the future because it's a lifelong thing. So as the duration of diabetes increases, the complications ensue. But in elderly, we are not so strict. Because in elderly, a little bit of hyperglycemia is always better than they having frequent hyperglycemia. So that is the reason here in elderly people, the A1C target is around 7.5. So we don't want to be so strict that now we have to maintain it less than 7. So anyone who is around 60, 65 plus, we are happy if their A1C is around 7.5 also. The same thing with the fasting sugars. We are happy if it is there maintaining it around 120 also. We don't want it to be so strictly below 100 all the time. So around 120 is also good enough. The same thing is around the, the post panel around 160 to 180 also we are happy. So that is the thing because we don't want to be so stringent, so strict or aggressive in managing their sugars because hypoglycemia in this particular population is really risky. And most of the times we keep seeing patients, elderly patients going to hypos during the early hours. We get a lot of patients to our ER also. We get calls around 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning that they found some grunting respiration or uh, when they got up and saw that he was having problems. Some people come into seizures because of hypoglycemia, they brought to the ER. And then we check the sugars, it is around 20, 30. And once we give uh, dextrose correction, then they say, So why is it happening? Earlier was hypoglycemia is probably because again the nutrition, the timing. So we ask them to take small treatment meals so that the steady level of intake of food or intake of the uh, carbohydrates and nutrition is maintained well so that the patient doesn't land into hypo. So most of the times what happens the elderly people they have finished up with their dinners at around 7.30, 8 in the night. They are taking their regular insulin, their regular medications and then they go off to bed. So because there is a long gap of fasting by the time they get up in the morning and have their tea or coffee, sometimes because of the long they have they land into my post earlier. So what we usually suggest is if they're having their dinner by 7 38, maybe before they go to bed at a 9 30 10, they can have a glass of milk or a fruit and then go to bed. So the um, hypoglycemia does by the time they get up again in the morning at around 6 or 7, they're ready to take the tea or coffee to the maintenance. And the night doses of medications are also we usually put on a lower dose. We don't be very high as it is during the day because these complications, this hypoglycemic complication is more rampant in this age group. So the nutrition, sometimes what happens, the patient has taken insulin, but he doesn't want or he's not feeling very well to eat. So he has only half of what he has he usually eats. He is definitely going to land to high. So these things the family has to monitor. Like if he's taking the medication, so his nutrition has to be appropriate according to what doses he is taking. 
So if this is taken care of well, then we can avoid these complications. So this is a real challenge in mm -hmm. managing the elderly, especially 60, 70 plus. The nutrition and the glycine control has to be made. Thank you. Thank you for enlightening us in this topic. Thank you.